and I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people. I pray I was searching for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago Way. Way. Yeah, that's getting she um she cool as hell though. First time I met you feel me, we was in New York tech shot had test light, pop out to the studio session. Yeah, she had pushed up on that's you know we've been cool as since so like if I go T, if I'm in the state or whatever, she out the eye head online, then we'll link up or something. Okay. Like, yeah. Can you explain like her personality or just like, you know, just the type of person she is from your experience? To me, she yeah. cool as hell, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why social media try to make her seem like some she night. Okay. Like real shit though. She be tough, so she don't really fuck too many people either. And then, like her personal business, like her, her and them niggas and shit, like, she don't really be, she be cool, I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. So, like, people just be fat and shit to say about it. I ain't gonna lie to you, I did. You know that? <laughs> okay. I uh, so, like, with her, like, would you, like, do, do y'all got music together? Or, like, you would know, you ever? We, we supposed to. We supposed to make some songs. She was in New York when I had first started or whatever. Okay. We ain't get around to that shit, though, you feel me? She be busy, I be busy. I ain't gonna lie, when we together, it it, won't, it don't need to be necessarily about a song. Like, we could just be chilling, smoking, getting high, okay. that shit. Like, you know, if a song come about, then a song come about. But that shit just really be chilling. Like, it just be chilling. Like, chilling, yeah. okay. So, uh, as far as interviews go, I saw you had an interview with Cam Capone, but it, it wasn't necessarily like your interview. Yeah. So it's like, did y'all talk about I getting? Did y'all talk about like getting a separate interview for yourself? Yeah and no. You think that's when I had? I think I just had y'all. What's the name? Like my first song. Yeah. Like I think a month before the interview type shit. Like I don't know. I was I was ready for the interview, but I wasn't. You know I don't like being rushed. So like okay. that interview ain't really go the way I wanted it to go. You know. Mhm. So. Okay. And I also seen you I have like. Talk to him no more, I yep. don't talk to him no more. I don't talk to him like that. No more? Yeah, like, I mean, cool. Okay. Yeah. I feel you. So, I, I see you you also had, like, a similar interview with DJU, but in that interview, he said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he says, yeah, no. like, he says something, like, in that interview that social media would call messy, you know? So, it's like, without name dropping, can you explain that situation? Yeah, he was messy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Um, basically, what happened was, he had called me somebody's name. Mm. And I don't wanna really fuck with that. Like, come on, gang. You you know my name is. Don't call me that whole name. Real shit though. Yeah. So that's all that really was. Then he just started like asking me questions and shit. But I kept it a bucket and view. I don't know those. Real talk. Like, okay. Don't know you. So yeah, I just know you from this day. And he basically told me that we weren't gonna drop the interview though. Cause for me, I didn't even wanna drop it. That shit was goofy as hell. I'm like, no, this is just some little shit. Like Lush. he was just doing something to like give me some little clout, so I know, cause I had just dropped my song. Makes but sense. that type of cloudy energy, I ain't want that. Like, you know, that was bad for business. You see why I ain't dropping? And you see how you got though? That's just messy one. So I ain't know put that out. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, I'm. We're gonna kind of switch gears and get into like a. A segment, so like mm -hmm. the first segment, I call it Cairo's logic. And shout out to No Limit Cairo because you know he's, he's the one that too. yeah he's the one that inspired this. So basically, he said the only rappers from Chicago that live what they live, uh, that live what they rap about is are FBG Duck, King Von, and Lil Zay Osama, and that's because he heard gangster stories about them. Right. So I just want to hear from you. Do you got a gangster story about yourself, like non-incriminating, of course? Shit. Back then, we used to take cars. Take cars, okay. See, I wasn't doing a taking, I was doing a ride. The ride. <laughs> <laughs> Just taking like cars for a joyride, basically. Yeah, joyride. Joyride, yeah. okay. Shit. I don't really got no gang story for real. Cause I told y'all I don't really be interested. So, like, the shit I did do, that shit, that shit low key, and it's a long time ago. Like, I ain't no trouble, badass, little girls don't like. Okay. No. All right. But come around me though, you gonna see how I get like that. All right, noted. All right, so we got a, I got a segment right after this one, and I call it Lil Reese's Research. I'm okay. crying. So uh, basically, I'm gonna ask you like various, like questions, 
on certain topics and if you don't know if you never heard about it if you don't know about it you just basically be like i gotta do my research all right so first topic rico reckless was once in jail witnessing young pappy getting knocked out my research damn okay young pappy once said that the rapper that influenced him to rap was meek mill You, you know that by a little bit? Okay. I Lil, so all right. All right, Lil Reese did an interview speaking on how Lil Dirt helped him rob somebody. All right, my research. Damn, okay. I don't really, because these niggas, I don't know. I ain't gonna watch that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped that, I tried to talk shit. I'm crap. All right, all right. Next one. King Von said he shot the only person who beat him up back in the day. You about, oh yeah, okay. Okay, you know about that? Yeah. All right. All right, BG Lil Pat and Bando Hi-Hat got a diss song called Facts that has 8.9 million views due to okay. it going viral on TikTok. Yeah, I know about that. All right. Nick Cannon said the best talent as far as music comes from Chicago. Hell yeah. Is that, like, do you... He's a ghost. You know you knew about that? You knew he said that? Yeah. Okay. I agree. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> King Yella and King yeah King Yella and King Lil J did a did say cheese interview speaking on beefing over the beefing over smashing the same girl. <coughs> Don't know about that. <coughs> I'm research. Right, uh, there's one right there. It's like to the left of you, right there. All right, and it's the last one. <laughs> All right, so last topic. Nicki Minaj has a song featuring Katie Got Bands. Yeah, I know about that. All right. All right, it's cool. So I could say, you know, you know, like half. Yeah. Don't know, don't know half. I know half. Because some shit don't even be. Like, you know how you see shit on social media and you yeah. just, like, scroll past that yeah, shit. Like, yeah. shit don't be. I catch it to me sometimes to make me want to just stop it. You yeah. Know? But times, so I get you. That shit do me. All right. So getting back to you. Like, in your music, you haven't necessarily made, like, this songs. But you have indeed like made songs where you like talking about somebody like subliminally. So like, what provoked you to like do so? And without name dropping, can you explain like those situations? Yeah. Hoes be weird. Hoes speak on me first. You feel me? And I don't even plan on doing that in my songs. But it's like, all right, you want to talk? I'm gonna talk too. Okay. And when I talk, you gonna really feel it because you won't be mad. And I be speaking all facts, so yeah. That shit just come from bitches just be having secret animosity. That's really just what it is. Mm-hmm. And motherfuckers be bouncing up, talking about me. I be like, what? I don't mean, what? Who is you? I don't know you. I don't speak on you. Don't kick it with you. Ain't you none of that shit. So it just be like, I don't know. Hoes really just be weird though, cause I don't even fuck with bitches. So if a bitch really speaking on me, they gotta be handling me or something, or I just be fogging or something. Cause you feel me? I don't know. Okay. See my crew. Yo, cool. Settle up. All right. So, I'm going to get into some, like, personal. So, I, I heard, I once heard that you have a fallen friend by the name of Tipsy. Like, who was he to you? And can you explain what type of, like, person he was? That was my homie. He died two days before my birthday. Damn. And, folks was funny as hell. Like, I promise you, every day I was coming out sad walk because he used to live, like, three, four houses down. Okay. For my grandma house and shit. So, it's like... Every time I come outside, I see him, he cracking Joe's shit, we want to go smoke, we ride up the street, Benzes, Porsches, all type of shit. Now, I know I told you, we was taking the cars. So, it's like, fine, though, they pulling up, flexing. I ain't gonna lie. A steamer is steamer, but at the same time, back then, that shit was fun for us. So, <laughs> yeah, that was my boy. He was getting well behind the wheel, I promise you. And then one shit you could tell me. Folks was like, what? Tisha's dad, he was like, what? 16? Yeah. I was 18. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, like, would he be proud of, like, what you got going on right now? Hell, yeah. Most probably be all my videos doing drips and cars. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> doing some hot shit. Real okay. shit, though. Shit, okay. So, uh, getting to something else. Like, I heard word from the streets, right, that you got, like, a secret secret weapon from New York. Like, can you... Can I'm you, crying. Like, <laughs> he talks too much. <laughs> <laughs> like, can okay. you elaborate on what that is? That's my duo. That's my boy. He go hard. Like, he undefeated. I feel like, put me in on the song. 
that bitch that. Any for him, anybody on the song though. Folks Ross Hill. Okay. Yeah, you might see what though. I would say his name, but he has to go for a reason. And that's like and a per- that's the person you do music with, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. We got some songs. Them bitches gonna drop soon though. All the hoes gonna be shaking their ass. All the rich niggas gonna feel like they doing something. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Alright, so in New York, right? Have you ever had an experience on when they like prove the theory that they want to be like Chicago so bad? Because I know you live in New York now. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. They is always doing it. Like they be GDK. I be out GDK. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Real yeah. shit though. They just be like, when it comes to the game bank, they want to be like Chicago. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But it's like, they do be having their shit going on. I can't even front you. But it just be like, we really die behind this shit out here. Yeah. I be feeling like they die behind it, but it don't be like how we do it. Like, they diss so much and don't like shit yeah, be yeah. happening. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, it's multiple songs when motherfuckers dissing and ain't shit happen. And the next motherfucker that you just diss gonna diss you right back. So it's like, it's they want to be like them. It's just not it, as. It's, it's just not it's, as serious as us. Like, and then they, they cut motherfuckers out there too. You get caught with a pack out there, your ass is going to jail for a long ass time. I get to like, yeah. what, 20 years? Yeah. Real shit though. That's what I'm saying. So it's yeah. like. Yeah, them New York gun laws are different out there. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even play with them out there. I wouldn't even bring one fucker. What, a deuce deuce? I wouldn't even <laughs> play with them out there. Real shit, though. Yeah. They be on some other time. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they want right. to be like us, though, but... All right, what'd you, what made you want to move to New York, though? Shit. The environment change. Environment The networking. Change. Okay. I love everything about it. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't shit in Chicago. It ain't really no reason I'll come back. Real shit though. Okay. It's like it didn't spawn too. Like when I'm out there, I don't gotta worry about shit. I don't watch my back, none of that. I don't people be genuinely cool. It don't be no weird shit. Like it, everything's everything. You feel me? Out here, it just be a lot of walky ass shit and I don't really I don't really like that. And I don't I can't even kick it. Say who I kick it in New York, like I can go out, go to clubs, all that I don't do that shit. I mean, then that should be that shit ain't what it is. It's just different. Sure. 100% okay. different. Alright, so what could you say like, is your favorite place you like traveled to so far? And why? Shit. I got two. I ain't told you. Okay. I got Miami, Miami and Providence, Rhode Island. Rhode Island, that shit look like a game. Like the buildings, crooked, all type shit. It look like some GTA shit. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's I like and I like they energy out there too. Okay. And then look it looked cute. Like why was that? It was, a, it was like oh light, lights. It just looked it different, you know? Yeah. Probably just around y'all need to go there. All right. Miami. Miami just look Miami just fun. And it look futuristic as hell. Like, I don't know, I be out there acting bad. I ain't gonna lie. Sling <laughs> shots all that <laughs> for real we be in Wimbos out there going crazy. Like real shit though. It be fun to see a lot though. It's always something to do every day. Like I ain't gonna lie, you can wake up do the same shit every day, man. But that shit gonna be fun uh, though. Okay. Like, yeah, that shit. That's it. Shit my, my favorite too. I deal with. All right. Yeah, my favorite. Got gotcha. you. All right, so I got this next segment. I call it the on BD session. So okay. you know how Lil Reese had that viral like moment where he was putting his thumbs down when somebody said something like false. He was like. Hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so basically, I'm going to ask you a bunch of true or false questions. And if it's false, you just put your thumbs down and say, yeah. hmm. All right, so, like, first first one. TTB Nez has snatched the OTF chain, allegedly from Mimo 600, and shot a video wearing it. What if I don't know? Hmm? What if I don't know? Say, what I don't if know. I don't know? What if you don't know? You just say, just oh, me. well, if you don't know, then. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I guess you could say you don't know. But it's like, you got to say true. It's like true or false. So I'm asking you. All right, come on. Um, false. False. Nah, that's know. true. Nah, shit. All Tell right. Some of them. All right, next one. 600 Breezy said he wanted to fight King Yellow, but never did it because Yellow wanted to fight for money. I think that's true. Yeah, that's true. true. All right. Next one. Billionaire Black dropped his exact location for t- for Tato from Glow Game to slide on him, but Tato never pulled up. False. Hmm. Nah, that's true. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's true. Uh, when, Damn. When Duck died. I tried to take yeah. off the post. Damn. Uh-huh. Yeah, so basically when Duck died, Tato, like, was mocking him. And then Billy told him to slide, but he never did. He even made a story post dropping the low. Yeah, so that really happened. All right, next one. Boss Talk tried to rob Kanye West for making a, a song with Ruga. Hmm. 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 H
Hmm. Yeah, it's not. That's false. You got that right. Uh, Vlad TV is the reason Six Hundred Breezy got locked up in jail after doing an interview with him. That's true. Nah, that's, that's false. True. That's false. Oh. It's false because, but Breezy did get put in, in solitary because he did an interview in jail talking about like how sweet it was. Folks, federal is yeah, though. <laughs> Everybody know that. I don't even know why they be playing with one not talking. For All real, right. though. All right, next one. Queen Key said once said she had a crush on a crush on SpongeBob. Hmm. Yep, that's false. It was Ice Spice who said that. You feel me? I I got this last one. S dot shot Ellie Capone's first music video, but it never dropped. True. <laughs> yeah, that's true. True. You got that right. All right, I see you smoking this shit. I got this next segment, and I call it a hit different. Shout out to FYBJ Main. So basically, this is for the smokers. So what I want you to do is just tell a funny ass story about a time like you got high, and then some funny ass shit happened after that. So getting back to you, like what's what's been your like f- favorite part about being a rapper so far? Um, I be having fun shooting my videos, like I love going to the studio. I ain't gonna lie, I love everything about this shit. Everything. Yes, everything. It's like yeah, yeah I love everything. I can say, like, my favorite thing is the like, issue shooting videos. Real shit, though. Okay. Because, like, call my boy Just. Shout out Most Hated Films. That's my boy. at him, too. But, yeah, Most Hated Films is my boy. I call him. We really get shit done, you feel me? Like, I don't do running gun videos. That's my thing. So, when I do my videos, my shit being shot for, like, two, three days. You feel me? I'm, if I got to wait that two weeks, you feel me? That week and a half to get my shit, then it's worth it. You feel me? That shit be fun. Like, I don't know, dude. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so okay. as far yeah, as doing shit, it's like as point. far as doing the music thing right and you're a female rapper so yeah. are there like any female chicago <laughs> artists you would want to work with mm. yeah i ain't gonna lie i work for all of them i like everybody everybody well, keto, i feel like everybody different in their own way okay and everybody is them then like I don't got no specifics, but I'll work with everybody though. Like, I'm about everybody trying to make it out this shit. I fuck with y'all. Yeah, we all going up this shit. Real shit though. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> as far as rapping, like, if you weren't a rapper right now, like, what would you be doing instead? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> you know what I thought you watched me work? <laughs> oh, crap. What is that? I said, if you weren't a rapper right now, what would you be doing? Probably trying to do hell. Hair, okay. Yeah, still how to do hair. Like you know how to do hair and all, all that. Yeah. Okay. But I'm back to patience. Makes sense. Yes. Get into some into something else. Like word on the street, right? Yeah. Uh, your celebrity crush, I believe, is Young Pappy. So I just want to ask you, like, <laughs> <laughs> like what makes Pappy so special? <laughs> 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 
Who the fuck? Okay. You talk too much. <laughs> okay. What makes him special? Yeah, what makes him so special? Shaquan was cute. <laughs> no, he's not playing that now, but he's cute though. And I don't know, he was just tough as hell. So oh. like that just attracted like you? Or yeah, something? he was something as shit. They you know he got what's that song, Mad Night? Yeah. He did it. He did it. He did it. But that was back then though. That ain't now. He did. What I'm I'm not saying like that, but like, what am I gonna I don't really have a celebrity crush. So you need to, next time tell him don't be telling you false information. <laughs> <laughs> I I got you, I got you. Uh shit. I got this next segment right. I call it, you know, the GDs in the door session. So basically I I just wanna ask you, like, are the GDs in the door? A little bit? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that is, but I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Only GDs that I ever known of for was the uh-huh. young. What's her name? Is she in the FBG Dutchie? Yeah, folks. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, what I'm saying. that's all I know. That's and all you know. Then, and, I am here to, Oh, yeah, Ruga. Yeah, Ruga. Yeah, sure. Ruga was in the door first. I ain't gonna lie, I thought folks were the door. But. Then you get like black or something? I mean. I don't really. I, don't, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. So, like, why why do you think, like, he's probably not in the door no more? Dirt. Dirt. I mean. What other reason? Okay. I don't it, know. We, it, we ain't gonna be. We ain't gonna be fake about shit. We gonna be real about it. Like, okay. ain't that why I do for I mean, it's funny you say that because I got this like segment after that, and I call it the blackball theory. So, I just want I just want to ask you like, do you think blackballing is real? The what? Blackballing. What you asking? What's question? Do you think blackballing is real? Yeah. Okay. Why do you think it's real? Cause motherfuckers be going up, and then that's thing you know. They on the internet crying about how they got blackballed. <laughs> Tell me how they can't do shit with some motherfuckers stopping them from doing whatever they trying to do type shit. Like, that shit is real, you feel me? And then motherfuckers be having power in this shit for real. Like, when you really one of them niggas and, like, really one of them faces, you feel me? You got cool, you can easily get a motherfucker to, uh-uh, don't work for him. Okay. Like, real shit, though. Okay. I've seen it happen in my own. I don't get me right. talking. All right, so who is, like, who is being blackballed? Shit, the GDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Nah, for real though. Alright. That's um, I'm irritated. My life don't work. Shit, I feel you. Alright, who is doing the blackballing? Oh, it just worked. That just blew me. What'd you say? I said who is doing the blackballing? I ain't gonna only motherfuckers I know that's really doing that blackball shit is that I don't really know too many people that got names and that's really, huh? Nah, don't worry about feeling like. Okay. That's, hmm, I don't know. Shit. Who be a black right now? You know? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. Like, real shit, though. I, I told y'all, man, my ideas are so, a lot of shit don't be. Okay. Uh, why do you think they are blackballing people? Like, why do you think, like, like, what's the reason for them doing it? This street shit. Street shit. Cause okay. too much be being said in these songs and motherfuckers and people, you can't take certain shit back. You be this and the dead. A lot of shit be coming with that. You feel me? Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. That makes sense. I'm gonna land my wood. Alright. Not that. Still gonna land my wood. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I brought up, I brought up Young Pappy and shit. And you say, like, you really fuck with his music. So, mm-hmm. like, could you rap, like, your favorite Pappy song word for word, word for word, like, right now? Last night, something next time, y'all said, I'm gonna give up that shit down. My bitch, the little thing for me, I don't even give a fuck about my bitch now. Got that couple of years calling my phone, so I'm finna break, wait, where's that? Some of them break now, make sure you don't get down when it's get down. <laughs> so, y
Man, even well, he dropped two bags, but you know he's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Real shit, though. You got that, you got that. Or <laughs> well, a homicide. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie, he, he got some hits. Like, I, wait, I thought I, that, that was Savages. Yeah, that was Savages. Anything Pepe? Yeah, that was Savages. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, though, homicide, one of them bitches, too, though. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. He got some hits. Yeah, yeah. that shoes. I ain't gonna lie to you, but Savages on my, that's my favorite, though. That's your favorite song? Savages. All right. All right, I'm gonna ask you about another rapper. So, uh, King Von. So like King Von like once gave back to his community, right? So it's like, like how would you give back to your community, but like in a different way? What you mean? Cause like what he do? Pass out money? Yeah, he passed out money. Like, Host- I mean, he, he did a lot of shit, low key though. Okay. But um, shit, I'll fucking probably like get my fucking food or something. Okay. Get on food, buy out clothing. Shit, I'll probably give out money too. Everybody needs some money. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, but only in a different way though, it'll be probably like give some clothes, give some food. Okay. Or provide everybody with phones, something. If you ain't got phones or Wi Fi, some shit. Whatever you need in your house, give me at the moment, I'll probably do shit like that or something. You know, some that's shit cool. that's gonna really mean something. That's cool. Then I know temporary shit. Okay. So, yeah. so like you can do like giveaways, if anything. Giveaways? Yeah, like you just, you know, giving away the clothes, giving away the food, shit like yeah. that. Okay. All right, no, so yeah. just get it, no rock or none that. Just right. come get that, y'all. Set up pop up shop. Gotcha. At the corner, come get it. Everybody can get some. I don't know. Everybody needs some help though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so like, as far as Vaughn, did, do you feel like he was too much of a helping hand for his hood? Too much of a helping hand. Yeah. I mean. I feel like person he did with any other street nigga would do that fuck with his little heart, you feel me? Look out. So, Look out. No. I feel like he did what he had to do, what okay. he wants to do. These niggas helped him. These niggas did whatever they did for him, and that's why he gave back and did what he did. He didn't do that shit for no reason. Okay. So. Just giving back, repaying. Yeah. All right. So, like, you say you fuck with, like, you know, every, you know, female Chicago artist you want to, like, you feel like working with everybody. So, like, there's like certain rappers like Blazing Doll, right? Who are like very known in Chicago. But like they're very, like she's like very hated on just because like the fans, like they hate on her because of who she's into with, like what mm-hmm. size she on, that type of shit. Like what do you think it'll take for her to like kind of like change people's perspectives like about her and just give her a chance? I mean, Richard though. Mm-hmm. Richard though, I wouldn't tell her to change shit about herself. Keep doing what you're doing, you feel me? It's- it's getting you somewhere. Motherfuckers don't like you, don't fuck you for a reason. You feel me? Whatever you're doing, you know, like I said in the beginning, I always be true to yourself. You feel me? So I want to tell her change. Whatever you're doing for you, that shit work for you, honestly. And then it's like, however, what people perceive you, that's how they perceive you. Feel me? Motherfuckers don't know you and say you really get around you anyway. So whatever they see on the internet is whatever they see. You feel me? So that's, that's real how shit. I said, like, that's real shit. To be honest. All right. So I'm gonna get into this next segment, right? I call it rapper turned blogger. So like you know how you know you have rappers who became bloggers like King Yella, FYB Jane J Man and them, right? So mm-hmm. I wanna ask you like would you ever become a blogger? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, explain why. That shit fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I like recording myself anyway. So All right. I wouldn't I used to I used to do that shit though. Really? I used to fake like um, just like give your opinion on certain stuff? No, I used to vlog. Like when I was going out of town and shit, I used to go vlog and shit. Like I used to record when I was going to places. <laughs> okay. But I'm talking about like, you know, like what, 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 so, like what they do is like they'll speak on like whatever's yeah, going I went, on. Yeah, I know what they be doing. Yeah. But I'm telling what I was doing. Yeah, what I, what you <laughs> That's were doing. what I'm saying. I was just reporting myself wherever I was going type shit. Mm-hmm. So, I, so like, would that's you, what it was. Like, I would get my opinion on shit, but I'm gonna keep shit Peter. If I was to do that, I'm gonna keep shit Peter because I'm not gonna be biased. Biased. Like, okay. You gotta keep shit on him. Like, yeah. you gotta always keep it real. If a motherfucker come up to you or feel me, a internet situation get right to you, you gotta like keep it real. Though. I feel you can't you. just say, "Well, I do this because you're real," like because you fuck them so. <laughs> no. Yeah. You gotta be for real. Put yourself in their shoes. Think about it, like we'll do the same shit. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. I would. You would. So like. They gonna hate me. 
All right, so like, as far as your approach goes, like, how would you approach it? I probably, I don't know, low key, I probably go live or something. If I'm finna vlog, I go live, probably be like, what's y'all opinion on this stuff? Then start voicing my opinion type shit. Okay. So, like, you think, do you think, like, other bloggers should, like, be doing it the same way? If, if that makes sense, like, you know, just keeping it at buck and just basically not being biased, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because why are you being biased? It's interesting. Like, you got to really keep shit, honey. Ain't no point of lying. Ain't no point of baby trying to shit for shit. Like, it call shit for really what it is. Like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. That's me, though. Okay. All right, so I got this uh, next segment. I call it the health check segment. So basically, I just ask people Hello? about the, the for, I just oh. ask like about your mental health and shit like that. Oh, health check. You said yeah. health? Health check. I call it the health check segment. So, like, where you at right now mentally? I'm okay. You okay? I don't feel good. Like, I don't feel good. I mean, I had a lot of personal issues going on, but. It is what it is. Life still goes on, but yeah. All right. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about like yeah, kind of? Yeah. Do you want to talk about like kind of what you went through or no? Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah. All right. So uh, getting getting into That's like the next much. segment. Uh, this next segment it's like it's called message for the youth. So like, what's your message for the youth? Be yourself. Okay. Stay in school. You can be like, I ain't gonna lie. School not for everybody, though, so I'm not even gonna say that. Just always stay true to yourself and do whatever your heart desires. You know, don't never let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. You can, you can achieve anything you wanna achieve. Whatever dream you got, chase. Like, I don't know. Okay. Don't settle for the less. Regardless, if your life like. If you feel like shit right now, it's always gonna get better. Okay. Real shit. Alright, so like would the younger you take your advice? They should. <laughs> 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 Real shit. <though. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like basically that. You don't, you don't know you don't know if like the younger version of you would would take that advice. Oh, that's just it. I knew what you said. No, I, I said like would the younger I'm you laughing like would the <laughs> would the younger you like take that advice? The younger me, hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. The younger man, I wish I'd go back to time so much. You don't know. Shit. Okay. I know everybody do key. but okay. it's like low key if you ever went back and changed that one thing all to that one thing. Shit could have been different, like you know. Yeah. So, that would have took that. Got you. So, like, how 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 you think we can make the like youth listen? Music. Music. Cause that's all they hear listen to. <laughs> Music and TikTok. <laughs> Music and TikTok. Real shit though. All right. So do you, you really feel- want to get your point across? Because it's like. Kids gonna do what they wanna do, but the shit they see on social media, that's what they look up to, that's what they follow. So, mm-hmm. yeah. do you feel like, like with kids, right? If they're just like listening to like, let's say drill music all day, it's like how how is that gonna affect them? Like, many these kids it, gonna be out of tough as hell. They gonna be feeling like they them, <laughs> like <laughs> real shit. So, like you can't even front the mood though. These kids gonna be out of tough as hell. They're gonna be feeling like they untouched with their invisible motherfuckers. Can't fuck with them. Like, that drill should be getting a motherfuckers head. And, like, I feel like really, when you listen to drill and, like, tough ass news all day, like, that really puts some shit in your mind, make you feel like, you know, it's that whole tab. Not that for real. You're not living in <laughs> that shit. Slow the fuck down, get yourself hurt. Yeah. Real shit that, like, music can alter your mood, all type of shit. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. As far as like drill rap goes, I could say like you're one of those people who actually does it. Like, do you consider yourself a drill rapper? No. No. Hell no. 
Not even saying like that though. I just I consider myself like a real artist. Like I make all type of music. Like all type of beats. I like whatever sounds good, you feel me? I don't just base myself with drill rap because I'm from Chicago. Like I like other shit, like real shit. The fact I live in New York <laughs> I love New York music. Like I'm not even gonna yeah. lie to you. Like I blast that shit, real shit though. Like right. I'm not even gonna hold you Detroit, all type of shit, like I got all type of different styles, to be honest. Right. It's just really brought it out yet right like, out. so like you didn't like start doing other sounds yet what? have I yes right. of course okay I just ain't drop it you just ain't drop it. I, I ain't gonna lie I gotta shoot some videos and I, I don't know I got like a little layout type shit how I'm trying to do shit you feel like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so shit gonna go have his lined up and then until then y'all don't get it when y'all get it but you know I right. got different sounds for sure Okay. I seen God type shit. Got you, got you. It's crazy. Alright, so I got this next segment. I call it Give Credit Where It's Due. So basically, like, I name, like, a few rappers and you tell me something positive about them. Just one, like, positive thing about them. Alright, first one, Blazing Dog. Um, positive shit. Go ahead, drop show this. Get what you have to do, <laughs> low key. Cause I ain't gonna fucking with you. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know who Blazing Dog was until you feel me, hun. Melo got the beef and the shit. I ain't even gonna hold you. Okay. So yeah, you did what you had to do. You dropped your disc. You feel me? That got you somewhere. Okay. Big ups to you. You real shit done. Gotcha. All right, G Herbo. Yo, let's go. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like I have my terrible phase. Like all through high school, boy, all I was class and shit. Tell me shit. Um, like you raw as hell. <laughs> you do what you do. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I got one more for you. Uh, Katie got bands. Pop out. <laughs> 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 oh crap, girl, you funny as hell. Yeah, no. no. Um, shit, drillery, Hillary, shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, keep doing what you're doing too, shit. I don't know, because Katie, I ain't really heard nothing about Katie since that Nicki Minaj shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I've been hearing some negative shit. We ain't talking about negative about that. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, most positive shit I heard was that Nicki Minaj. Oh, bro, you did your shit. You got your verse on Nicki song. You did yeah, that. That's real shit. Yeah, that's big. That's real big. Well, All she right. one of the biggest, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Salute, salute to Katie. All right, so... Getting, getting towards, like, the end... Kind of, kind of like the end of this. Uh, I got this last segment called... Uh, the Chicago Wave Feedback. So, basically, I just want to ask you, like, why do you support the Chicago Wave? Cause he be um, cause for us, like for him to like be behind the scenes or whatever, he be he keep up on shit. You feel me? And that's like I fuck with that, cause like you feel me? Every city got that, but it's like us and now in our generation, he go crazy. He up there on everything. He shout out everybody. He support everybody. He don't be on no weird messy shit. You feel me? Like. I support it 100%, but I'm close one of them, and Okay. Like, and he ain't biased either. You know, it damn mad you. It's like every time, personally, I'm gonna just speak on me. Like, if he ever told me he was gonna post on me, he asked me, is shit okay and all that, I fuck with that. Because some cities, most people don't do that. They yeah. yeah, just post it and say whatever they wanna say. And then in that, a twist and turn your whole motive around, make you just seem like something you're not all type of shit. So. Makes sense. Like, do you, feel like do you feel like bloggers should just, like, like before like they post certain stuff they should ask the artists if they cool with it low key hell yeah though no. cause shit I ain't gonna lie certain shit be personal too like mm. feel me how you know I want for real to be talking about feel me certain shit like not even trying to like say no specifics but how you know I want the world to know this and that that's yeah. what I'm saying you just want to post this and that like I, I get it you feel me this is what you do but mm. at the same time like a lot of shit be coming with that. And motherfuckers don't be knowing, like, the backlash from that shit. Yeah. True. Like, that shit be cool. Alright. Uh, what is, like, one thing you don't like the, about the Chicago Wave? Hmm. What's one thing you don't like about the Chicago Wave? Shit. 
like So you just fuck with it 100%? Yeah Alright So you don't feel like there's anything that Like we can make Like we could make it better We could do to make it better Making it better now, y'all. Let's quit and I ain't gonna lie to you. At first, y'all was just, you know, over the phone, over the internet, just text yeah. you, posting. Yeah, y'all yeah. Really doing y'all bigger right now. Okay. So, yeah. I appreciate that. Too. I appreciate that. Uh, so, uh, I just want to ask, like, you got anybody you want to shout out, you know, before you get out of here? I mean, I ain't got no stick names, but shout out everybody that's rapping. We going up this year. Everybody gonna make it out this shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Feel me? Shit. Yeah. Alright, what you got coming next? Shit. Next video, they ain't no kill, they ain't no slap, they ain't no rat. I ain't gonna lie, I got some shit finna drop. I already dropped it though. Low key though, I gotta drop a video to it. And I'll be dropping on my own channel, so make sure y'all go subscribe, J Money HQ on YouTube, and go follow me on Instagram, J Money HQ on sure. Yeah, I know I got some shit for the job. When my video drop, make sure y'all go tune in to that too. Like, mm-hmm. Alright, I, I also wanted to ask you, uh, what does the HQ stand for in J Money? Like, HQ, like the username? Ain't gonna lie. It was high quality. High quality? <laughs> yeah, because I'm a high quality ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nah, yeah. for that though. And, yeah. I'm just, I'm just. No, I'm just one one. And the HQ just sounded good. I ain't even gonna yeah. lie. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't wanna just put J1 here because you yeah. ain't gonna, you know, it's J1 like, already a unisex name. Yeah. You know, just right. the HQ. You got to think like, you know, let, let me see. It's a real boy, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Her, he. For sure. All right, one last thing. Can you, like, flex the merch for us real quick? Yeah, I got you. I'm trying to work out. Yeah, Josh Chicago way merch. Hell yeah, go buy that. It's on that. It's yeah. on our website, the Chicago Start this shit, 2019. Hell yeah. Get it to him for shit, man. Yeah, and it's good material too. I fuck around with my shit tonight when I get drunk. For sure, for sure. Get y'all merch. I ain't gonna lie though. Now, now I got some I don't like. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, gotta change this eventually. Change what? Change this, change this little boy or something, you know? Shit. I mean, y'all got, y'all got some people in here, but you know, it's a new generation. It's a new generation. It's our time to shine. Feel me? Switch these faces. It's though. funny because like people kept telling me like, oh, I want to see my face on there because it's like, yeah, it's you know, it's our time type we shit. We don't know how big when you feel. I, I support everybody. All so right. yeah, you gotta put us on. Put the females on. We are not big. Shit, I got y'all. Busting I got you. right now. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So I appreciate you coming through, J Money. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, dude.